These quick start tutorials are made using Marvelous Designer 11 and its new UI. If you would like to learn the software versions below 10, please visit our YouTube channel. For your convenience, every tutorial is made using the regular mouse settings. After placing your patterns on your avatar using the arrangement points, if your pattern outlines are overlapping in the 3D window, as mine are, feel free to pull them out of the way as you see fit. Let's move on to sewing. Like other tools, you can pop out the nested options by selecting the scissors icon. Here we can see the two windows are nearly identical in their sewing options, with the exception that the 2D window has a measurement tool. Starting with the segment sewing tool, or the N hotkey, we can use this tool in the 3D window with left mouse clicks on each segment line. This creates a sewing relationship between these two pieces along those segment lines, as you can see indicated by those red lines. The same can be done in the 2D window, again one left mouse click per segment line. As you are creating sewing relationships, you'll notice text underneath your mouse. In this case, it is zero outside of that parentheses. That means that there is zero measurement difference between my two segment lines. There are perpendicular lines called notches indicating the sewing relationship starting point on your sewing lines. You do not want to cross them on parallel seams like this, otherwise it can cause issues. To fix this, we can use the Edit Sewing tool. The Edit Sewing tool allows you to move the entire segment line, select the points on the segment line, or if you right click, you can do other items such as reverse sewing, which will fix that mistake. On to the next tool. The free sewing tool or M hotkey is a tool that is not constrained by segment lines. Once you create the first half of the sewing relationship, you can use the blue dot or a ghost dot as a reference for the exact sewing line length to prevent any gathering or line length difference. I'm going to go ahead and finish up sewing that side seam. For the sleeve cap, we will also use the free sewing tool to sew one line into two lines by using the one to N option by holding the shift key. The color will change and it will let you sew multiple lines into one. Release the shift key to finish the sewing relationship. You can double check your work in the 3D window to make sure that your lines are not crossed. Using the free sewing tool in the 3D window is similar. The only difference is you need to double click to finish your lines and double click again. I will finish up the center back seam with the free sewing tool. Again, just creating that first sewing line, double clicking to finish and doing the same on the other side. Next onto the more complex tools, the M to N segment sewing tools. Selecting the segments to begin M sewing. Make sure the notches are all going in the same direction as you do so. Once the first group is selected, hit the enter key. Reading the small text for end sewing, do the same to the segments that you are sewing them onto. Once you are done, hit enter. In this example, I have not yet moved my pocket over my shirt. Please do move your pocket over your shirt to prevent any collision issues. Once all your sewing relationships are applied, hit simulate or spacebar. As we can see here, there are no issues and the pattern looks fine. Let's cover the more complex sewing tools a little bit more before we finish. You do not have to follow along and there is no pattern provided. Using the M to N segment sewing tool again, select a segment to begin M sewing. Make sure the notches are all going in the same direction. Once you are done, hit enter. I will do all of that on the left side. Hit enter once you are done with the first group for the M sewing. It now changes to the second half to select the N segment sewing. Do the same on the other side, making sure to keep the notches in the same direction. Once you are done, Press enter to complete end sewing. Next onto the similar tool, the M to N free sewing. Create your line lengths with left clicking. Here I only need to match these segment lines themselves. And I will click to finish each line. Once I am happy with this, I will just hit the enter key to complete that first half. Next we are on to the N group. We will do the exact same thing to the corresponding segment lines that we want to sew to. Again only hitting enter to completely finish the group and the sewing relationship. And that is it for the quick start sewing tutorial. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials for Marvelous Designer. And if you have any more questions about our software, feel free to comment down below, check out our website, forum, or Discord channels linked in the description.